Australia A is halfway through their VB tour of the British Isles. With the Ashes less than a month away, seven of the squad are with the A group honing their skills in English conditions. Their first hit out was at the picturesque Arundel Castle and according to Nathan Lyon, the tour couldn't have started any better. To go there and play an inter-squad game against uh, your fellow team members was, uh, was really good. It was a great ground to play at. It's an amazing venue and uh, yeah, I know a lot of the boys got a lot out of it. From there, the squad travelled to Edinburgh to face Scotland in a four-day first-class fixture. Despite missing some key players due to county cricket commitments, the host put up a good fight against a powerful Australia A outfit. The visitors proving too strong in the end, in a performance that pleased Lyon both as a teammate and individually. Yeah, it was an interesting game. It was another great, great venue there in Scotland and we're pretty lucky with the weather having uh, three days of great weather to um, go out there and show our skill. Um, I know that some of the boys performed really well and uh, it was great to see and it was really good for Australia Ray to come out on top. Uh, I'm happy with the way they're coming out and uh, it's really good prep for me hopefully leading into the first test come the Ashes. The squad is now in Belfast preparing for their next match against Ireland. In what looms as a tougher challenge, getting on the park might be the first hurdle. They're definitely going to be a, a, a bigger threat uh, to us come, come this game, come Friday I think it is. But, uh, Looking at the outside there, the weather, uh, we haven't been so, so lucky, I guess. Uh, it's a bit, looks a bit wet and a bit cold outside, so um, hopefully that burns off and a bit of sunshine comes out and we'll uh, be able to get in and uh, get in the competition with the Irish.